Hello, Fran. Introduce yourself to us. I'm Fran. I'm from Spain. And I'm TV host at uh, Mad TV and Antenna. That, uh, Mad TV is the music channel m most important here in Greece. And Antenna is the number one TV channel in Greece. <laughs> Okay, and you're not Greek, you're Spanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how did you manage to learn Greek? Uh, I decided uh, I come here for Erasmus students and I decided to learn Greek because English is easy, not for Spanish people, but it's easy. And I decided uh, the time that I will be here in Greece to improve my Greek and uh, learn the basic about the Greek language. And besides uh, a TV host and um, uh, a Spanish uh, student, you're also a big Eurofan, right? Yeah, I'm a big Eurofan. I'm, I remember when I was a child uh, at home watching Eurovision with the family, some friends. And I remember the first time Lydia, that I think was the year that Dan International won. Lydia, that no, no. That was in 1999. 1999 with an horrible dress from Agatha Ruiz de la Prada, <laughs> and this is the first time that I remember that I watched Eurovision Song Contest. Okay, uh, this year we celebrate the 60 years of the, of the contest, and we have 40 countries participating. You heard, you you have heard all the songs, right? Yes. Uh, a lot of times, not all the songs, because some songs are uh, are not so good. For example, San Marino. I don't know who wrote this song, but okay, I will say you later my opinion about San Marino. Yes, I listened to 40 songs. I think that this year uh, the most of countries are trying to find the way to take the points from the jury not for the televoting. Because mm -hmm. if it's about televoting, I think that Israel, Moldova, and more Sweden, more pop songs will win, but okay. Now we have the so you're not happy having the 60th uh, anniversary of the contest with so many ballads, right? No, not at all. I think this year, for example, I'm Spanish. Mm -hmm. I hate every time that Spain is in the last positions, for example, with Soraya, mm -hmm. La Noche es para mí. And I hate this kind of things that Europe doesn't vote Spain for some reasons. Uh, but I think that if you go to your vision with a, ballad, with a good ballad, you must go with, with a good voice. For example, last year, Ruth Lorenzo and Dancing with the Rain. But the problem with Ruth Lorenzo, Lorenzo was that the song wasn't so good mm -hmm. as her voice. So, I don't know. I, I don't know this year. I think I will get sleep a little bit. But Okay, so you, ha you kept your notes for yeah. the 40 countries. I have here all the countries. Uh, my opinion is not the opinion of, of course. all the Eurofans, but okay, it's my own opinion. So I will try to say you what I like, what I don't like. For ex do you want to start? Yes, of course. First of all, Moldova. Uh, okay, it's a good pop song. He almost doesn't have a good voice, not even a good image. I think it's to 1996 mm -hmm. um, boy band as Backstreet Boy, Nick Carter, this way. I think that we'll pass to the final only for the reason that it's not a ballad, it's a pop commercial song. Oh. And okay, I'm, I'm not excited about this song. Uh, about Armenia, this marketing plan that Armenia has this year uh, Yasu. <laughs> this marketing plan that has Armenia this year about the five uh, six persons about different places of the world I think it's not a good marketing plan because if you know your reason only European people vote not this year Australia even they will, will vote but okay the song is good it's not bad they have good voices, and uh, but they will do this in the States. I don't think so, because it's difficult the way that they sing the MP3 version, the studio version. 
they use a lot of notes like high notes. And I think that they won't do it so good in the life. Uh, Belgium is a lord in boy version. Mm -hmm. I never see the diamond in the <laughs> Okay, I think that he will pass in the, to the final and he will be probably in the top 10. Mm -hmm. uh, not, uh, they don't, they don't give me any feeling about what he's singing. But okay, it's lord version. Mm -hmm. uh, Netherlands is enough. Okay. Anuk, why Anuk wrote this song? Well, they, they gave the, the job, the project to Anuk and Anuk proposed uh, the singer to the national broadcaster. No, no, she's not right. She's wrong right now. Okay. Hello, Anuk. Uh, is Anuk. <laughs> uh, Finland. Uh, who's Finland? In ah, Animum Pita. That if somebody doesn't know, Animum Pita in Greek means if I if I I will be Pita. Pita pie. is pie, pie. Okay. for the people. Look, this is a strange situation right now in Eurovision. Last year we saw Conchita. We are open mind in Europe, and it's not like other countries or blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, I think they will go to the final. I think they have possibilities to win because they have a social message with this song. I'm with Finland this year, not to win, but to be in the top five for sure. Okay. Do you agree with Finland that they got a, a special exception from the EBU uh, to sing less time? One minute and 34 yes. seconds, I think. Because of their, uh, yeah. of their special situation. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with this because, you know, they have uh, a situation that is not the situation of the rest of the singers. So I agree from the moment that you were, like we say in Spain, is agree with this. Okay. The song is better, it's not better. You can see the social message. Okay, both or not both, but they will go. Uh, Greece. Uh, I can say nothing bad about the Greek uh, because uh, Maria Elena Kiriakou, I know her. She is a good girl. She has a great voice. Mm, the song is good, but it's another ballad in a year full of ballads. So maybe we have this problem. The good thing is that this year we have Cyprus again. And uh, uh, Will pass for sure. <laughs> okay, it was actually. I think it's. Uh, it was your first time uh, part covering the second, national. Second time. The second time. Okay, how do you see the Greek national final? In I like it, mm -hmm. but I think they should have more. Uh, they should have better songs. I think mm -hmm. uh, if you know the Greek industry of the music, we have a lot of good singers, a lot of hits. For example, Demi with uh, Alex Stock, mm -hmm. Where is the Love is. And suddenly in Eurovision, we don't send this kind of songs, right? And this kind of singers. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Fureira, Tamta, Demi, this kind of singers that will take a lot of points in Eurovision. But Marilene Kiriakou is the voice of Greece. Okay, she's good, enough. She will pass to the final. Who, are, who else uh, we have? Estonia, I, I like, but it's a copy-paste of the last year Netherlands, I think. But knowing so country version, is more being touched mm -hmm. with a black and white filter, like in Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they will, I think they will pass to the final, but maybe they don't, because it's the same and the same of the last year. Uh, so, I have, I must to say this name, <laughs> Firom, Firom, uh, who is Firom? Ah, yes, uh, I don't, you like? Well, I think it's, uh, for me, the good thing with uh, the song of Firom this year and last year is that they stop the ethnic elements in the song. They just give... A, a, a music tune without ethnic elements, and this is what I like. But in general, I wouldn't vote it. I wouldn't vote. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Serbia, I like because uh, is they have mm, how I, how am I must to say is uh, is I don't know Hello. but I like Serbia mm-hmm. I don't know why for sure because because I will vote from Spain mm-hmm. this night because I have my no. Spanish mobile no. I will vote for Greece for sure and uh, not for Serbia. Uh, who cares about Serbia now? No, I don't like. I like, but I, I won't vote. Uh, Hungary, uh, who is? Uh, uh, um, uh, not even this. Mm-hmm. I won't vote for this boy. Okay. Valerus, okay. uh, uh, who is? Ah, Maimuna. Yeah. Maimuna, for who doesn't know in Greece, means something something good yeah. <laughs> uh, I like this uh, song I like uh, the way that they use uh, the violin and uh, mm-hmm. the video clip is really nice I like the girl is beautiful uh, the boy uh, why he's wearing this thing? actually actually he's he's a famous rock star there and he's singing this kind of song yes. more pop marketing <laughs> uh, Russia I like very much I know this uh, singer uh, since he, she was in the fame story of Russia Operation Triunfo from, like we say in Spain uh, Russia is Russia Russia will be in the final Russia will be in the top 10 for sure Russia maybe will be in the top 5 top, top. Uh, okay last year they uh, the audience uh, in the arena uh, booed uh, the Russian entry. Yes. To, to the girls. Do you agree with this? I'm not agree because the girls is not their fault. Mm-hmm. The situation, political situation that is having now Ukraine or Russia. Yes, but some people say that uh, despite the, uh, it's not the fault of the singer, they are participating under the Russian flag. And for example, if Russia wins, yeah. uh, the government of Russia will take over the contest. Yeah. So it's it, it's uh, somehow related to the politics. What do you think? If you take this thing about that they are under the flag of Russia. Yeah, you have right. But now the girls, okay, I think that the people that was in the arena wasn't making ooh for the girls for sure. Mm-hmm. Wasn't make it for the situation of the country. So yeah, you are right, but uh, now the girls. Uh, but you wouldn't boo? Uh, no, for sure no. Okay. And I think this year uh, they will have the same problem mm-hmm. again and again and again. And this year that the Ukraine won't be in Eurovision, mm-hmm. probably more. Uh, Denmark. Uh, I like this song, but I don't. I don't understand the name. Anti-social uh, media mm-hmm. is the name. They go to your vision. That is the more social media music event, not only in Europe, around the world. Mm-hmm. And the song it's is not about rock. That they say that they are pop rock. Mm-hmm. This is not pop rock. This is more catchy pop sweet. Uh, something yeah. strange. I like almost the song. It's the way you uh, It's happy. But if you think that the, the past years, Denmark somehow manages to place very good in Eurovision, no matter if they have good or average mm-hmm. song. Yeah, I think that countries like Denmark, Sweden, the Norway, and um, even Finland sometimes. The last year I l- liked very much Finland. Mm-hmm. I think that they have... A, extraordinary in music industry mm-hmm. so they will have always good songs in Eurovision uh, Albania I like the song it better the song than the first one mm-hmm. uh, I think that uh, the comp- the songwriter did well to say no I won't go with this song uh, she has a great voice for sure they will take points from Greece too mm-hmm. in the semi-final they will be in the final and okay another paper Bye. Uh, Romania. Uh, I don't think in, if this year they will be in the final. The last year I didn't like at all. Uh, before two years with uh, uh, this Spanish song that they saw, I liked it and they, they, they didn't pass. So I don't know this year. I, I have a problem. 
to decide. And Georgia, I like this warrior. I don't like the other warrior. In the beginning, I liked the other warrior, not this warrior, but now this warrior, I think that will won this war mm -hmm. and will be in the final. The video clip is fantastic. So, people, this is the first semi-final, mm -hmm. both for Greece and for Georgia and for Russia. Mm -hmm.